So hi Ashwarya, uh, welcome and uh, thanks for taking some time out for Hindustan Times. I am Sandeep Sikdar. Uh, I think the last time we met, it was in uh, February or January 2020 when I come to the Hindustan Times office for an interview. Good to have you back again. Uh, so tell us, you're going to participate in the first rally of uh, Himalayas. Uh, tell us uh, what's been your journey like after your accident in the last four months. Um, yes, I'm looking forward to the race that's coming up. It's called the Rally of Himalayas, happening from the 6th to the 10th of October uh, in Manali. Uh, it's one of, it's it's going to I it's going to be a substitute to RAID um, because RAID has stopped um, happening a few years ago. My accident happened in the second round of World Cup in Jordan, where I broke both my wrists and I was asked to rest for three months. Um, so in the three months that I had, I was training on my uh, rehabilitation as well as my fitness. Um, and as the three month marker was done, I started uh, getting back on the bike and started training uh, back at the factory. Uh, following with which um, I've been on a one month um, ride throughout the Himalayas, um, training for the race that's coming up. Okay, t tell us about your about your injury. Um... How severe was it breaking a wrist? Obviously, it takes them a lot of time to heal. So, how much uh, uh, effort did you put into uh, for a rehab? Uh, how long did it take? Uh, what all uh, exercises and uh, physio stuff did you have to do in the last uh, few odd months? So, I had two wrist fractures, um, and I had um, so they had to and, operate uh, on sorry, one of those. This was in your uh, in your right wrist. Uh, on both my hands, both my wrists okay. were broken. All right. Okay. Um, so one, they just put nails and it healed naturally. And the other one, they had to um, put a plate for it to heal. So I had about three surgeries uh, after the accident, um, okay. after which my doctor had suggested for me to start rehabilitation right after. So after three days of surgery, I started my training with, um, Galen Fitness uh, Center in Bangalore, um, where we worked on um, a lot of lot of work. Apart, like the wrists were the only things that we couldn't work, but the legs and the other body parts and muscles gr muscle groups we could work on. So we kept on cycling on stationary things to work on cardio as well as did a lot of workout in order to um, support the body to recover faster. And, you know, people in motorsport, especially, uh, I mean, who are into uh, two-wheelers, uh, mm -hmm. you guys go through a lot of accidents. But, you know, what kind of motivates you to, you know, a, obviously an accident uh, can change the life of a person forever. So, guy, what kind of motivates you to bring come back uh, on, the, on the bike again? Well, I think... Being an athlete has given me a way of life and helped me deal with obstacles such as accidents in a different way, not looking at it as a um, challenge as opposed to just another obstacle to like, you know, uh, get past. And I think uh, over the over the years of the training that has gone into uh, the fitness and riding and everything, I think every time there is an accident because I'm already at a certain fitness level, um, whatever might have happened, um, doesn't really affect as much, and I start at I start at another baseline, and then you know start getting stronger from there. So accidents have never been something that um, have scared me or like you know things that have. Um, it's it's not like a full stop. It's it's not something that's like I mean life changing, uh, and it's and and that's what this sport has taught me. But doesn't it deter you in any way? Because to start all over, all over again. Well, after I mean, definitely not. It doesn't deter me to start all over again because I think um, you know every time I race as well, it's it's a start and an end, start and an end, and there's mm -hmm. there's room for something new every single time. So though it's an accident, I'm not going back as opposed to moving forward. And, and since when have you been completely physically fit? And uh, since uh, when have you been training in, in the Himalayas, Manali? 
for the last uh, one and a month one, uh, for the last two months is what i've been fit completely to be riding um and i have been riding as well and in the himalayas i've been here for the last one month and i'm here for the next 20 days until the race is over so this is going to be a first mountain uh, uh, rally right you mean um in this year no overall Or like uh, have you participated Yeah. Yes, oh, I yeah. have participated. In, yeah, I have participated in Raid the Himalaya in two years. Uh, that was 2016 and 2017. Um, 2016, I rode as a privateer and I couldn't finish um, the race. And second year, I rode rode um, Raid okay. with TS, and we finished, I think, fourth in the Group B category as well as uh, first place in the women's category. So that's, right. that's okay. the experience that I have of riding here. Okay. Okay. And uh, what about this year? Where all have you been? What all have you done? And also, um, I mean, if you can expand that a bit, because I mean, this year would mean I I would mean since the post-pandemic uh, era, maybe maybe you can call that. Okay. So I think from uh, when the pandemic did hit hit us last year, um, the nationals of last year were moved to the uh, end of. 2020 and spilling over to January 2021 um so that's where my racing season started post pandemic where we went on to winning the uh, Indian National Rally Championship for the fourth year um and after which I went to uh, the first two rounds of the FIM Baja World Cup which was happening in Dubai um and then in Jordan so in the Dubai round I finished third with uh four women racing from all over the world um and after that we went to jordan where i had the accident so um these were a few of the terrains that i have ridden in this year okay um uh, i mean i guess you you have often asked this question about about women in motorsport and especially women in motorsport in india it's uh, not so common and yeah if, if you further kind of divided then you still see women in um, a domestic uh, motorsport when it comes to on road racing but not in terms uh, when it comes to off roading so uh, how did you uh, delve into it what kind of uh, took you to off road uh, racing uh, into rallying um i started my career with road racing and when i did start training for road racing my coach then jeeva and anil like you know they never really treated me like a girl wanting to race um in a group of men it was more of um and i, I mean it, it, it's more of a racer mindset a racer mindset so they train me as equal as to any other guy so um the reason that um so that was the base as to how i used to train and when i did want to get into rally uh, i wanted to get in because i wanted to get better with road racing because globally we do see this thing of how uh, road racing athletes do go and do off uh, go and do off roading to you know uh, work on their braking slides and things like that so that's how i got into rally initially it was just something that i was trying um eventually as uh, 2016 passed um i started racing both road racing and uh, off roading together um and and most of the races uh, in uh, the cross country rallies especially i was racing with the men as well so we made i mean we made good positions racing with men it was not just the women's category that we won we also won with the men but but i mean are people still surprised uh, when you go to uh, to races and rallies uh, that uh, you know just being a woman and and in motorsport especially in rallying are they surprised are they do they ask you uh, you know do they know want to know about your past and how did you get into it uh you you are speaking about fellow racers or are you speaking about no i um, think fellow racers would, would, yeah your your colleagues will still know about you i mean you've been racing for a long time but yeah i mean maybe outside your zone i mean yes they're all very fascinated with what i do and most of the people that i do meet are people who follow motorsports 
so they yeah. they do have like a basic idea of how things have been working and they're very proud of what i do and um um yeah i mean they do say that you know they've seen me grow from um you know just one thing just the person who used to ride a motorcycle to you know the progress of being a world champion and you know being one of the tvs racers and aiming to dakar like they're very proud of you know how i have grown for sure Yeah, no, but uh, what I meant to ask was that are are people surprised? Uh, are are they still surprised? Is probably the question. Um. Yes, I think people still are. Uh, because th- this last one month ride right, that I've done, I've met a lot of common people. Um, as to you know, mm. uh, enthusiasts who ride motorcycles and. They they don't really know what racing is, and you know when they did meet me and. uh we train them i i train them to ride off road through the uh, entire yeah. aog ride that we did for uh, leela dab yeah. um and they were all very surprised and very excited in um you know it was a very different thing for them yeah. but i mean it is still um it it is a very niche sport and not a lot of people still know about motor sports in india and when people do find out they are definitely um, a little um, you know Yeah, I mean, they they're like, okay, how how is this possible? Is it even possible? And and what do you think when they say that? And what what is your reaction? Yeah, it definitely is possible, and if I could do it, anybody can for sure. But what what are you thinking in your mind when you are asked these questions over and over again? I'm sure you're going to face these questions in the future as well, not just now. um well i mean i'm neutral to it honestly like i think they are curious to know as well like i am curious to know how um, someone i look up to is somewhere and when i do ask them as to you know how did you get there and i'm sure they are asked that a million times too so i think this also uh, as the same way where i can tell them how they can probably uh, follow this path okay and and tell me Obviously, since COVID hit the entire world, how did it impact uh, your uh, rally schedule? Obviously, a lot of rallies got cancelled, rescheduled, or postponed. Uh, did it affect you? Uh, if, if it did, how and uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, yes, it definitely did affect uh, me as well as the motorsports um, globally and in India. Because for me, I couldn't travel for my World Cup. 2019 i won the world cup 2020 was when the covid hit and i couldn't travel because of the covid restrictions we had um so i missed an entire season internationally as well as um a lot of indian races were cancelled so it did hit more um as athletes a lot for sure so but uh with less uh bike time uh i mean obviously more bike time means more confidence more uh, accustomed you are to the terrain etc but uh does it hamper your riding uh, in in the rallies uh, when you get back on on the circuit on the track uh but i i mean de- definitely more more riding and more riding is more confidence and all of that for sure and that definitely is something that i work on even before i go to races so my training was still going on even if i was like you know um even if the races were not happening and if i was not able to go for these races i still kept training uh, at whatever tracks i could was like you know i had access to so i would still train so i wasn't going into the race not um, you know ready to race and you know this upcoming rally of himalayas um, do you like mountain riding uh, how is this different from uh, any regular rally which has which is largely most of uh, m- mostly about dunes while this will be more of uh, you know jeep tracks um so ideally the terrain here or if you would have also heard the tagline of rape the himalaya in the past it says it makes grown men cry so the terrain is really really bad which means you know uh, yeah. especially at the due uh, at the month that it's happening i think it'll also start snowing this year so um few challenges would be the weather the terrain already is very grueling uh, there are a lot of water crossings as well as uh, black ice um, and and you know yeah. uh, it's it's a very hard pack narrow uh, on a ridge kind of a yeah. track yeah um 
so it it has its own challenges uh, and i think it's very demanding for both the man and the machine so um this race is i mean this is how this race is uh, going to be very challenging so it's uh, so the last time i was in a rail i think it was in 2015 or 16 i'm not I'm not sure about the year but mm-hmm. yeah i mean just by looking at uh, the, the track right on the edge of the cliff and uh, uh and yeah basically herds of cows or whatever crossing the track uh, this is a pretty common so uh does it excite you more does it uh, i mean because obviously there's a lot of danger involved uh there, there have been instances in the past where drivers have, or riders have driven uh their vehicles beyond the tracks and obviously have gone down cliffs thankfully nothing happened to them so yeah we've we, also lost people at trade right a guy yes, died in 2016 yes. so yes, it true. is definitely one of the most difficult races and mm. uh, it it excites me that you know i have the opportunity to be here and uh, train as well as race this race because in a time such as this um having races itself has become a very difficult thing and having such a great opportunity and with the support of cvs um i'm really looking forward to the race all right and and what are what are your plans for the upcoming future after the rally of himalayas um as soon as the rally of himalayas is over i have my indian national rally championship starting uh, from 17th of october in hampi and we have about six okay. rounds uh, back to back until december um so these are the la- races that are lined up for me before i head to spain to train next year all right and and what is your ultimate aim is it the dhaka and if it is then when do you think by which year um uh, you do we get to see you there yes um my near goal is definitely dhaka and uh i think we are working on or rather i would i would rather put it in a way where i think when i would be ready i i will be there yeah good to know and uh, i mean if when you reach there obviously i hope you do and very quickly uh you will become the first indian woman to be at the dhaka you you're also a pioneer not just i mean you i mean not just in in terms of the future but already uh, being the first woman doing this and that how does it feel uh, when people come to you or you know when you think about these facts yourself how does it feel for you i i am uh, i'm definitely very happy and grateful as to where i have been able to reach um from all like i remember the times when people said motor sports is not something that could be looked at as as a career or something that is sustainable even as a sport um to that to what i'm able to do with my team is definitely something i'm proud of and grateful for now let's talk a little about when you're not uh, riding a bike what do you do uh, how do you like to spend your time uh, your off time uh, um do you like to uh, you know about your hobbies etc um i love hiking cycling running so these are few things that i uh, indulge in when i'm not riding or uh, when i'm not training active recovery as well as i do have two pets at home so um i take them on hikes we um we go on car drives and i spend some time with family whenever i can so these are the few things that i do when i'm not training or racing and when do, where do you go hiking and uh, do you have two dogs or two cats two dogs two indies okay. rescues i rescued them okay. um so okay. i i ha- so they are my pets we go to this uh, forest called avalali in bangalore it's in yalahanka mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so we go there and it's a huge forest gated forest so we go on uh, i take my cycle and we run behind the cycle so that's that's pretty much how we go out okay right and are you also into rescuing dogs uh, apart from the two that you have or um i do whatever i can with whatever time i do have back home um so i do a little bit of it whenever i can help in whatever ways 
Okay. And, and who all do, do you have in your family? Do are they also into the motor motorsport? And if were they into motorsport, which really kind of uh, you know follow? Did you follow them in uh, their footsteps that it led you to motorsports? Not at all. Like I think everybody, even today in my family, does a nine to five job, and I think I'm the only one in the family who's doing something offbeat. And it also did come to me because I failed in my twelfth, and I had a year to study as well as explore other opportunities. So that's pretty much how I found motorcycling. And um, I'm I'm still the only person in the family who does something like off a nine to five job. Okay, and and, and uh, what about your education? Uh, till where have you studied? What have you done? Um. So. After my twelfth, after I finished, uh, cleared my twelfth, I I didn't really continue education because I had already started racing. Uh, but in mm-hmm. the last two years, uh, I enrolled myself back at Surana College. Um, I I'm doing BA in psychology, journalism, and literature with them at this point. Wow. I'm on my last year right now, so that's okay. what I'm doing with my education. All right, and. Uh, so, will we also get to see you interview other uh, important people like I am right now? <laughs> well, I I want to be looking at doing sports psychology. Maybe that's that's what I'm okay. um, looking at doing after this. But at this point, I'm just focusing on racing. This is this is something okay. that I'm doing on the side. Okay. All right. So coming back uh, on the track, a couple of questions. Uh, your uh, your TTVS colleague uh, Harith finished uh, I twentieth in in earlier this year in the Dakar. Uh, did you have a word 20th. with him? How was his yeah? How was his experience? Um, and w- what all tips did you take from him, etc.? He's a very difficult person to catch, but then we do speak once in a while. Um, he does. I mean, we we do check on one another as to what's happening with training. I do ask him as to how I could um, train better. So um, I do get a few trips in terms of training, as well as you know how I could design my training in a different way. Um, how I could look at road book and uh, you know train with it differently. These are few conversations I've had, and I also wanted to train with him, but I believe he has a uh, training in international. We help one another. We we discuss and you know help one another with tips and tricks to get better. Okay, and and do you look uh, forward to uh, some? I mean, who who is your idol in the sport? Lyas Ans. All right. Uh, and do you follow on road racing as well? And if if yes, what? Um, a, a little bit of F1 as well as MotoGP. Um, these are two okay. things that I do follow. Yes. And uh, which driver or rider do you uh, are you keen on watching, especially? I think MotoGP is Mark Marcus. And uh, okay. Lewis Hamilton and Max Max Verstappen uh, on on the F one. Okay. Yeah, the championship has got has got pretty interesting now, especially at the month. Yeah, and Daniel Ricciardo finally got his first podium, so it's it's nice. Yeah, yeah. first first yeah win in for a McLaren, yeah. So, yeah. 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 All right, Ishwarya. Thank you. Uh, thanks for taking a lot of time out. Uh, I hope to speak to you soon again. Yeah. Thanks yes, once definitely. again for speaking to you in the Sunday. Thank you, Sandeep.